In today's video, we are going to be talking about U.S. air passenger protection rights. This video is going to explore useful tips that will help you save costly changes, unexpected expenses, and more. So, make sure you stick around till the end for that. Just like in the European Union under Brazilian ANAC 400, EU 261 and select countries, under the Montreal Convention, U.S. passengers are protected against certain flight issues including denied boarding and luggage issues. Carrier Laws If you want to pursue compensation when flying within the United States, it's mostly based on contract law. That means whatever airline passenger rights are written into their terms and conditions or conditions of carriage is what you'll want to re-up on. Additional Laws There are laws in place if you are the casualty of overbooking, though you'll want to think twice if you take a free voucher. You could be entitled to more if you file a claim against them. Lastly, if a U.S. airline damages, loses, or delays your bag, you may also be entitled to compensation. So make sure that you file a claim. In all cases, you'll want to make sure you save all your documentation and get anything in writing from the airline that you can. This will help strengthen your case as you go up against their airline. U.S. laws figure the business rather than the consumer, so you need all the help you can get. What compensation can I get? Because there are no formal, universal laws in place in the United States, what compensation you get will depend on the airline, the circumstances, and in some cases, even the customer service agent. Luggage Issues Under the U.S. Department of Transportation, airlines are responsible for repairing or reimbursing passengers for issues with their baggage that occur when the baggage is under their control, but there are maximum limits and exclusions. If your bag is delayed, they will be responsible for incidental costs you incur as a result. Denied Boarding Overbooking is one area where there are some protections in place. If you are denied boarding by no fault of your own, then you can claim up to $1,350 in compensation. They can offer you this compensation immediately at the airport, so you will not have to wait or deal with additional customer service agents. Other delays. Read your airline's terms and conditions to understand what you may be entitled to if you face other delays or cancellations. Some airlines will offer a goodwill gesture of vouchers, miles, and other discounts to loyal and patient customers, so it's worthwhile to contact their customer service team to see what they can do for you. Types of disruptions protected. Just because there is not a single law in place doesn't mean you are not covered when you face disruptions while traveling in the United States. On the contrary, you can be compensated for some of the most common issues like denied boarding, tarmac delays, and luggage issues. Luggage. The U.S. Department of Transportation has some solid laws in place to help protect customers should their luggage be lost, damaged, or delayed as a result of airline negligence. Once the luggage is in their possession and you have records of this transfer of possession, you are protected. U.S. air passenger laws favor the business. They may offer reimbursement, miles, and other perks as a gesture of goodwill, but they are not required to do so. Tarmac Delays If you've ever been sitting on a runway waiting to either deplane or take off, you understand how frustrating it can be. You are so close, and then because of an issue that's out of your control, you are just stuck. The only thing you are left with is your growing anger and anxiety as you wait. While you are not entitled to compensation after these delays, you still have rights. After two hours, you should be provided with food, water, lavatories, and medical care if needed. After three hours, you should be given the option to deplane as long as it's safe to do so. If you voluntarily deplane, you will be responsible for arranging your flight and rerouting your luggage with the airlines. If you involuntarily deplane, the partner will take these steps on your behalf. Types of disruptions protected. Just because there is not a single law in place does not mean you are not covered when you face disruptions while traveling in the United States. On the contrary, you can be compensated for some of the most common issues like denied boarding, tarmac delays, and luggage issues. The amount may vary from airline to airline unless otherwise specified by the U.S. Department of Transportation. Denied boarding due to overbooking. Overbooking is a common practice no matter how irritating it may be. However, it doesn't become an issue until there are more people who show up for the flight than there are seats available. If this happens, you are protected in the United States. You may receive up to $1,350 in overbooking compensation, which is great if you have some flexibility in your arrival time. These laws apply to all traveling within the United States, not just U.S. citizens. If you voluntarily give up your seat, you may forfeit your right to additional compensation. Not only is the airline required to book you on another flight, but they also need to compensate you for your inconvenience. Refunds and flight ticket replacements. Vouchers and reimbursement may seem like a good idea, but you'll want to think twice before you accept it, especially if the flight is overbooked. If you accept it, you will likely be unable to pursue additional compensation. Remember, if your flight is overbooked, you may be eligible for compensation of up to $1,350, depending on the flight, destination, and more. How to make your U.S. air passenger law claim 
If you want to submit the claim yourself, get your materials ready and take a deep breath. Contact their customer service team to make your case. You may be required to submit additional documentation, and you should hear back if they are offering your compensation. Luggage issues are more likely to be compensated under U.S. DOT law. You can also work with a specialized flight compensation company. They are very familiar with U.S. flight law and may be able to wrangle additional compensation you had no idea existed. Much like you do submitting yourself, the first step is to gather your information. Pick a company and file a claim. A representative will be in touch. Conclusion Unfortunately, U.S. air passenger law is not as developed as other countries, but that doesn't mean you still can't get something. File a claim to see what you are entitled to. Often, airlines want to retain your business, so they will offer goodwill gestures to keep you happy and flying the friendly skies with them. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to know more about U.S. air passenger protection rights, check the link in the description box below. That will take you to the EUFlightCompensation.com's webpage, where we have discussed this topic in more detail. Do you have any comments or questions? Make sure to drop them below and like this video if you found it useful. Till next time, thanks for watching.